Hey, what's up guys? It's Darkroom Duels and today we're gonna to be doing an A to Z deck profile. So I'm really excited for this one because this is actually a Patreon request deck profile by Gloomba331. So Gloomba actually requested for me to fuse the ABCs and the XYZs together to make this one awesome deck that can summon out A to Z Dragon Buster Cannon. So this deck is absolutely insane, being able to summon some of the most powerful fusion monsters in the entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh! in the form of XYZ Dragon Cannon and ABC Buster Dragon being one of the coolest and most awesome uh, fusion monsters in the entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh! And just an overall powerhouse to be able to fuse them together to make this awesome fusion monster. So without further ado guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell on there so you can come part of the notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon in the description below where we have some awesome words you guys like getting your name scripts for every single video, getting a signed card to the mail, or even getting a request to deck profile every single month to your patron along with test hands. And definitely give Gloomba some love down there in the comments because this deck would not be possible without them. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this so first off we're gonna be playing three copies of a assault core so a assault core is a very pivotal card in this particular deck because it has the ability that all your union monsters share the ability that once per turn you can either target a light machine monster you control and equip this card to it or unequip that card and special summon it and a monster with this equipped with this card is unaffected by your opponent's monster effects except with its own and also it's equipped uh, if it's equipped would be destroyed by battle or by card effect you can destroy this card instead and then every one of your pieces has a different ability from there this one protects monster effects, where B protects spells and C protects against traps. And then A also has the ability that if this card is sent from your field to the graveyard, you can add one other union monster from your graveyard to your hand. We then play three copies of B Buster Drake. This one protects against the equipped monster from being destroyed by your opponent's spell effects, or it's unaffected by your opponent's spell effects. And, or, and when it's sent to the graveyard, you get to add one union monster from your deck to your hand, which is a really awesome effect and really pivotal to to this particular deck to be able to add those union monsters from your deck to your hand. We then play three copies of Sea Crush Wyvern, which protects your monsters from your opponent's trap effects and makes it so you can special summon a union monster from your hand to your side of the field if it's sent to the graveyard. Now these are your ABC pieces that you're going to be using to summon your ABC Buster Dragon onto your side of the field as quickly as possible. We then play two copies of X Head Cannon. So X Head Cannon, the reason you play this at two is because you play Unexpected Die in this deck, which is going to be really easy and really helpful to be able to get your copies of your X Head Cannon onto your side of the field. And you can always use it as a link material as well to be able to get your Union Carrier onto your side of the field as quickly as possible. We then play a single copy of Y Dragon Head. So Y Dragon Head has the ability that the equipped monster gains 400 attack and events, and if the equipped monster will be destroyed, you can destroy this card instead, and you can only equip this card to an X Head Cannon you control um, as a material, which is really important to be able to just equip it to the X Head Cannon. We then play a single copy of Z Metal Tank. Uh, Z Metal Tank is really important because you can equip this to X Head Cannon or Y Dragon Head you control, and it also has the ability that it gains 600 attack, which is pretty good to be able to equip the make the equipped monster gain that additional 600 attack. So you need to play the X, Y, and Z to be able to go into your A to Z. It's very, very pivotal to be able to use these cards. We then play a single copy of Union Driver. Union Driver just helps us out with being able to equip other, by banishing this card, you can just equip it other of um, your Union Monsters to other Union Monsters on your side of the field with appropriate targets. We then play three copies of Gold Gadget. Gold Gadget lets us special summon out a light, uh, we special summon out a machine monster from our hand to our side of the field that's a level four if this card is normal or special summon. Now, also says the ability of this card is destroyed by battle, then you can special summon a, or a card effect, you can special summon a level 4 gadget monster from your deck to your hand, or deck to your side of the field, in place of it, which is really cool. We then play three copies of Silver Gadget, which does the exact same thing as Gold Gadget. So you're basically playing six of the same card, which is really pivotal for the deck to be able to get those cards onto your side of the field as quickly as possible, to go into Union uh, Carrier as fast as possible to get your particular cards out very quickly. These cards are very pivotal in the deck because they help out a lot to be able to get your copies of your monsters on your side of the field. Now the only restriction is is if you can't special summon the same one off the same one. So for instance if this is destroyed by battle or by card effect you can't special summon your copy of Silver Gadget from the deck. You have to float into gold and then back into silver silver gold silver gold. You can't go silver 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 gold gold gold. You have to go in like 
you have to go alternate in between them. We then play the Symphonic Warrior Package, which is a single copy of Mike's, which gives us an additional normal summon, and three copies of Guitar. So these are really helpful in the deck as well, because you can activate these as your Pendulum Scale, which is really helpful to be able to activate the copy of Guitar to discard a card to special summon Mike's, and then Mike's will give you an additional normal summon, which will help you get your Union pieces on your side of the field as quickly as possible, so you can start using them to be able to get out your monsters on your side of the field to get out your copies of your A to Z Buster Dragon. We then play three copies of Galaxy Soldier. Galaxy Soldier is really, really helpful in the deck and really important too because you discard any light monster and you can banish your copies of ABC, this is your ABC Buster Dragon, to from your extract by banishing them from the graveyard as well as the field. So this card comes in really handy, especially to go into your Cyber Dragon Infinity as well. This card is absolutely bonkers in the deck and comes in super super handy. So that's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get in to the spells. So for the spells, we're going to be playing a single copy of Monster Reborn. Monster Reborn is just helpful in the deck because it helps you bring back your particular monster that you particularly need, and it's a good extender card for this particular deck. One copy of Terraforming because you need to get to your copy of Union Carrier or Union Hanger as quickly as possible. So this card's really helpful in doing that. One copy of Foolish Burial. Foolish Burial is really helpful getting the particular piece that you need in the graveyard to go into your copy of your ABC Buster Dragon as fast as possible. So then you can go into XYZ to get out your A to Z as fast as possible. One one copy of card destruction this card helps you get to your copy of union um hanger as fast as possible and it also helps out a lot with getting your a to z on your field because it can search out your copies of your xyz pieces or unexpected die or whatever you particularly need for instance if you open up a copy of card destruction and three of your abc pieces you've essentially just gotten out your copy of your abc buster dragon and if you draw a union carrier off of it you can then drop the union carrier add your z metal tank bring your deck to your hand normal summon it equip y dragon head to it and then normal summon out a copy of or use unexpected die and then summon out your x head cannon then get your copy of your Y Dragon Head off your Union Carrier or Union Hanger and then normal summon it out, summon your Z Metal Tank and then go into your copy of your particular piece that you particularly need, which is going to be your Z Metal Tank and then go for your particular play that you need to get your ABC Buster Dragon back on the field and then go XYZ and then A to Z, which is really easily. This card's really pivotal. So then we play three copies of Unauthorized Reactivation. Unauthorized Reactivation just basically says, hey, you can grab literally any Union monster from your deck and equip it to another monster on your side of the field. This card's really good in the deck and really helpful to be able to get out your particular ABC piece or your XYZ piece to your side of the field to be able to go into either XYZ Dragon Cannon or ABC Buster Dragon really, really, really easily. We then play three copies of Union Hanger. So Union Hanger is really, really, really good because when it's activated, you get to add a light machine monster that's a union monster from your deck to your hand and then once per turn if a light machine union monster is null or special summoned to your side of the field then you can target one of those monsters and equip one appropriate light machine union monster with that monster's name from your deck to that monster but the union monster you equip cannot be special summoned that's the only downside of this card this card is probably one of the best cards in the entire deck and the pivotal way that you're going to be summoning your a to z xyz dragon cannon and your abc buster dragon as fast as possible we then play three copies of unexpected die the three unexpected dies are essentially here to summon at your x head cannon to your side of the field really fast to be able to get your y dragon head and your z metal tank equipped to it or on your side of the field as well which you guys will definitely see in test hands very soon on the channel so that's it for the main deck guys let's get into the extra deck so for the extra deck we're going to be playing a single copy of A to Z Dragon Buster Cannon. This card is a heck of a commitment to summon, but when you actually summon it, it's pretty insane because it has the ability that you have to use ABC Buster Dragon and XYZ Dragon Cannon to summon this card. By banishing those cards you control with the above names, and it cannot be special summoned by other ways. It also has the ability that you can discard a card, negate the activation if you do destroy it, of when your opponent activates a spell trap or monster effect, which is really cool that it's just an Omni Negate 3k or 4k beat stick on your side of the field it also has the ability that you can banish this card um uh, you manage this card and then spanish special summon one each of your abc and xyz dragon cannons or abc buster dragon to your side of the field you can special summon both of them back to your side of the field basically for free and tag them out which is really cool you then play two copies of abc dragon buster dragon buster is really cool in the deck too because it basically is easy to summon it can tag itself out to put all the pieces back on your side of the field and it also has the ability that you can um discard a card to target a card on the field and banish it 
um, which is really good to be able to just target cards on the field and banish them. We then play the old counterpart, which is XYZ Dragon Cannon, which, fun story, is actually a card that was my very first 10 as a kid when I actually was pl first started out playing Yu-Gi-Oh! The very first 10 that I actually got was XYZ Dragon Cannon's 10, which is really cool that I'm actually building a deck that you can use this card in 2020. We then play a... We just play the single copy of it, and it's not once per turn to discard a card, then target a card on the field and destroy it. So that's a really awesome effect. We then play for the Link Monsters. We're going to be playing a single copy of Appaloosa because Appaloosa is really easy to summon in this deck to be able to give you multiple negates on your side of the field. Unicorn to be able to spin stuff. Phoenix to pop spells and traps. Platinum Gadget because it helps you get additional monsters on your side of the field. And then Double Union Carrier because Double Union Carrier helps you get your particular ABC or XYZ piece onto your side of the field as fast as possible. One copy of Cyber Dragon Infinity because it's easy to make on your side of the field with your copies of your Cyber Dragon Nova to give you additional negates. And it's really important to note that if you summon this card with your copies of your um, Galaxy Soldier, it's really easy to just summon it off of one Galaxy Soldier. You can just summon one Galaxy Soldier, it searches another one, special summon the second one, overlay into Nova, overlay into Infinity, and you have a negate on your side of the field for going off into plays. Giganta X, because it helps you search the deck a little bit easier. Dagusto Emerald, because Dagusto Emerald lets you special summon non-effect monsters like X-Head Cannon from the graveyard, and also target three monsters in your graveyard, shuffle them into the deck, and then you get to draw a card. And a single copy of number 60 as well, because it lets you draw two, discard one, revive a monster from the graveyard, or even help you out by doubling the attack of monsters. So it's a really, really helpful card in this deck. So that's it for the deck, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope I did it justice for you, Gloomba. I really hope that you enjoy this one. It's a really fun deck to play around with and pretty consistently can grind out in the game to summon out a copy of ABC or A to Z Dragon Buster Cannon. It's a really fun deck. I have to recommend to you guys. And it's just overall fun. Like I really enjoy summoning out the copy of the A to Z. And it's just really amazing. It came out at the same time the Imperium Magnum came out, which is really cool. Um, and it's just an overall fun deck that I hope you guys really enjoy. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell on the screen, comment part, notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down the description below because we have some awesome words, you guys. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.